the greed of Griffles Biomat, a foreign corporation uh, from Spain, is sucking the blood out of all the Americans. 95% of all the donations in the world come from America. And that's because our senators and our House of Representatives sold us out because the rest of the world, they don't get paid for their donations and they don't get to do them more than once a week. So we're the only ones that get to do it once or twice a week and we get, we're the only ones that get paid. That's because of our government, right? So what I want to do and what I propose is that we unionize the uh, donators of Griffles Biomat and and get a little bit of the money coming back over here to the United States to uh, to give our country some money because they're spending all their money over there in Spain and uh, they get two thousand dollars of donation and they give us thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty fifty five dollars every week you know what I mean twice a week and uh, $495 uh, a month is what it what it works out to be but I want to do it and get a hundred bucks a whack every time right so that a couple can own a house you know why not this stuff is in such demand it's unbelievable right so why not being able to own a house or the people that work there own a house too See, they uh, they they only make minimum wage working for Griffles, but they're doing an, an impeccable job sticking everybody and getting all this plasma. Uh, I believe that they're worth more like seventeen, eighteen dollars an hour at least. These phlebotomists there. So uh, Griffles Biomat. Here's a little back down background on them. Uh, they're a Fortune 500 company. They're 415th on the list of the best companies in the world. That's because they buy cheap and sell for extremely expensive, right? And uh, so why not give the donors of America, the, 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 the poor people, a boost, you know? Why not unionize? Let us unionize the, all across America and... Uh, and and just take a little bit off their bottom line at on uh, over there at Griffles Biomat in, in Spain because it's a foreign corporation. So, what I propose is, and they 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 deferred me as soon as I went over there. What I went what I did is I went into the waiting room and I said, hey, I want to demonstrate against uh, Griffles Biomat and uh, get us all a hundred bucks a whack for these donations. And uh, nobody seemed to want to do it. And nobody, everybody seemed scared. Uh, so I go to the next half. And I go 95% of all the donations come from America. That's because of our senators and our, and our House of Representatives has sold us out. And I was wondering if you guys would demonstrate against uh, this company. And uh, be willing to stand with me outside. And, and they called me to the glass booth and told me that I was deferred and they told me that I was kicked out for 99 years. So I went outside and I got my megaphone out and I uh, talked about their greed, you know, and their, uh, their, their corporation anyways and how it affects me, which they do not tell you that citric acid is what they put in the anticoagulant. Now, citric acid is made from black mold. That's not from lemons and oranges anymore. It's made from black mold. That's black mold beer is what citric acid is. And it's really sad, and uh, I think that it's wrong because I find out that it takes your calcium and it doesn't allow your blood to transfer your calcium with the citric acid attached to it. So your body's not getting the proper calcium that it needs. And these people are just raking it in. I mean, four billion dollars with a B uh, over a fiscal year of euros, not dollars, euros. And uh, I just think it's wrong. And I think we should unionize. And, uh, you know, 
what I found out is people are scared people want that money they need that but what if they can own a house what if they could own uh, a couple can own a house on just a loan with their uh, donations and and since I am kicked out of Griffles Biomat for 99 years and they never talked to me they never talked to me on the phone I called them but they never talked to me the, I called the main uh, office and they never called back which is sad because I've been a long time donor of Griffles Biomat. I donated there for over 10 years. I mean, I put my time in. I My veins are closed up. I wasn't able to donate. They referred me two months ago for not being able to donate uh, full donations five times in a row. And they donated, and they, they deferred me for two months. I couldn't believe it. I was devastated. And then... So that's when I uh, decided maybe we should unionize. Maybe we should get a hundred bucks or two hundred dollars a whack because that's really and only do it once a month. You know, now that would be good for the American people, and uh, it would be good for their company too because man, they'd be getting a great amount of people donating then. And it would affect a lot of people. It would it would boost the economy. It would boost people's morale. You know, it was it is an awesome idea this unionizing the biomat donors because it's uh it's a uh, up and coming and more and more people are donating and and why not make everybody richer, huh? Uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for their patience and. Uh, and uh, thank you.